say for instance the middle of the screen straight forward so what you're looking at um, then you're going to check and use a physics dot raycast command and you're going to give it a ray and a out hit a hit but you have to uh, cast that as an out because that is an out but you have to cast it as a, an out then you are setting our direction to hit hit dot point so what you hit the point on where where you hit um, subtracting the bullet spawn dot position um, so where it came from and normalizing it so setting it between 0 and 1 I think and um, so that will just say what how what like rotation you're looking at it from 0 to 1 0 being completely sideways 1 being or 0 is straight forward and then there's negative 1 as well I'm not sure and then if if you don't hit something so this is if you if you're looking at something then then you know set your direction and if you're not looking at something set your direction to the radar direction so what you're looking straight forward say if I'm looking at the sky it'll shoot straight forward from where I'm looking instead of doing something uh, bad so then we're setting our rotation our rot to equal to quaternion, quaternion dot um, from to rotation so this is um, setting the rotation from changing it from the old one to and setting to the new one I think so the um, I found out that it was this will probably have to change because it's in, I'm actually using a 3d model but we'll fix this up later um, because the last one I just created out my own and I had to rotate it on different angles and things like that so um, what I did was just do a negative bullet dot transform dot forward and that went straight forward for me so we'll probably have to change this again um, but we'll fix that and then the, we had to I had to ins then you instantiate the bullet the bullet prefab so we'll change this to bullet M9 bullet and then uh, at the position at the bullet spawn position and at the rotation of the two from rotation so it's gonna um, be pointing at what you're looking what you're looking at so using this direction like the, through this um, then you're going to play the shoot animation and then you're going to um, set the audio play the audio but we haven't set that up yet and set current ammo we're going to subtract one from the current ammo so it's going to subtract one from the current ammo and we don't need this ammo check at the moment we'll just sub that out and we just want to create a temporary variable so a public um, current ammo oh, sorry integer int current ammo and we're going to equal that to 100 for now so we just use it for testing purposes so here I don't know if we actually even use FWD I don't think we do we can get rid of that FWD one and we'll go back to unity we'll probably get some errors yep okay bullet spawn doesn't okay bullet spawn lower bullet spawn so we're gonna just copy this and put it in bullet spawn bullet spawn bullet spawn any other bullet spawns and change that um, bullet we have another bullet change m9 bullet to bullet where's bullet Ah, oh, yeah, here, negative bullet, so negative M9 bullet. And that should fix this all self up. And. Alright, yes, yeah, so, oh, that's right, I didn't even put it on the gun. So put this on the M9. And we need to the put the bullet on there, so go to your models, bullet, and drag the bullet onto the transform M9 bullet and the bullet spawn we need to create at one so we'll go here and go component ah okay, object create empty and bullet spawn and we'll just drag this to on the M9 
under the M9 and we're just going to drag it up and drag him across and we're just going to put it right inside just inside the barrel and so that should be fine so then what we're going to do is drag that bullet spawn onto the M9 script so drag bullet spawn onto that one and hopefully this will work it won't shoot anywhere yep it created a thing a bullet it won't shoot anywhere yet it's creating off the side of the gun for some reason so we're gonna have to fix it up but um what we'll do is just oh missing audio source animation oh that's right okay we need to go back to the M9 and go to the shoot and we need to change it to a legacy animation and the way you do this is this took me a while but you need to go to this drop this one here click it and go to debug and change animation type to two to one sorry and one is legacy so then you just to get back to the original just go click that again and go normal and that should be fine and what we need to do is again add a component on the M9 uh, gun and add a audio audio source and what we're gonna do is drag the go to the audio and drag this audio into the source and we're just going to untick play on awake and that works there's a little bit of a delay in between at the start which we're gonna have to edit in a second but that should be fine for now and then what we want to do is create quickly create a uh, another script um, in gun create C sharp script and call this um, uh, M9 bullet and we're just gonna open that and we're going to on start I'm gonna go rigid body sorry game order no okay let's search up the add force script so um, add force okay rigid body dot add force C sharp script so rigid body dot add force vector three dot up so we're going to do vector three dot forward my last one I had to do up because I had to rotate it down ninety degrees but this one we only had to rotate it left or right ninety degrees so that should be fine and times this by bullet speed and that's a um, variable we're going to create so public um, uh, integer bullet speed and we're going to equal that to 2500 and that's what I found to be an okay an alright speed it's not fast as in as it should be but if you have it too fast it the um, trigger doesn't work when we create a trigger on the on this and um, when we collide it doesn't doesn't destroy itself or and things like that so you get you get a lot of errors so we're just gonna drag the M9 bullet onto the bullet model so go to bullet click on this one and go add component scripts M9 bullet and also add a rigid body component so physics rigid body and we're not going to use gravity and we're going to change collision detection to continuous so save that and then play it so that okay so there's something not working with our um, I think the negative forward something about that something wrong with that so go to across that and go to 
here and just change this to forward hopefully that will work straight forward to none no. Rotation, rotation equals quaternion from to rotation forward. No. Hmm. Direction. No. Radar direction, so radar direction is range viewport. Maybe put bullet spawn as an under main character instead. Still got bullet spawn there. Sorry, um, if current number is greater than zero, ray ray camera dot main camera dot main viewport new factor three. If physics dot ray class ray out hit direction equals hit dot point minus bolt spawn bolt bolt spawn <coughs> dot position dot normalized. It's got to be something I did. Um Um Bullet Bullet spawned position to rot Um Dot up to change it to forward or is it bullet there's a bullet there from two rotation bullet bullet spawn bullet spawn the position from a rotation if we put this on here, I doubt this isn't going to work. I'm just clueless now, I think. No. Um. Alright, I'll be right back to try and fix this.